Right, so we're heading into a general election at some point this year, we hope, in all likelihood. It's possible Rishi Sunak could push it back into January of next year. Goodness knows he's running away from it as much as he can, and laughing whenever he's asked about when he's going to call it. The mandate-deficient PM, seemingly hell-bent on holding on to power in the desperate hope that something will turn up to save his sorry, unelected backside. But it means we're all getting a lot more junk mail coming through the door right now. Election materials. Goodness knows my Tory MP is desperate to be re-elected, along with the has-been former Lib Dem MP, desperate to make a comeback here, despite having lost his seat for helping to put the Tories into power to begin with back in 2010. The shameless pair of them can both take a hike as far as I'm concerned, but along with the endless leaflets and begging letters, not to mention those infamous Lib Dem bar charts, canvassers will be out and about too, knocking on your door, bothering you when you try to do your own thing, having your tea maybe, chilling out and relaxing after work, wanting to ask questions and talk about politics of all things. Heaven forbid, who wants to do that? Well, it looks like Labour canvassers might be a lot less keen to answer questions themselves than that might be put to them. And just by knocking on your door to ask you stuff, doing it back to them, as this frankly hilarious video clip shows, they claim as harassment. Well, given what you're getting asked about and your party position on it, I think you'd better get used to this, sunshine. Right, so this is a masterclass, frankly, in how not to go out canvassing. And if this is going to be typical of the sort of door-knocking reaction these Labour representatives are going to go with, they are going to have a truly miserable election period because this is exactly how you hold these people and it could be any party actually to account sending arms to israel you're harassing us and go away you're harassing you you yes, said you are. asked you, you asked are. Me. we're saying you're harassing us the de definition of harassing really? you're harassing us so you've, you've come, come around to and knock go on, you've come to knock on our doors well, where's your and door? we've come up right there okay let's knock on the door come on sure come let's along. knock on your door come and knock on my door Where's your door? So you're entitled to come to my house to ask me questions. I think you need to check your definition of harassment. Well, I said you've come to my door to ask us questions, so I'm asking you questions back. You've come and put yourself... You've... We, we, we acknowledge that. No. Are you voting Labour? No, we acknowledge that as well. That's what we're doing this evening. We're not here to make Labour Party policy on Gaza. My God, that's so below... That's so above our pay grade. I mean, we are just... Labour Party members trying to trying to what, following orders for, for for our council elections Without and for our mp Without so that we get an, a labor mp and if a labor mp gets into power and a labor government keeps supplying arms to israel and a labor government keeps supporting israel you're, don't you think you have a responsibility for that if you're asking us to support a labor government and a labor government is going to keep harassing, harassing us uh, sorry? You should be it's able going to, to keep a simple question. If you're you are harassing, harassing us, I'm not harassing you at all. Can we ask you for like to go away, please? To go away from where? This, I live here. here is my where do you want me to go? Go to your home. You want me to go home? No, I, You've come no, to my street to ask okay. us to vote for Labour, and I'm asking you: Are you not ashamed to be calling for a vote for Labour? You're calling for another street. Am I not allowed to be on the street? You're allowed to be on the street, but I'm not allowed to be on the street you said it's your street you stay on your street <laughs> shame on the labor party shame on the labor party shame on the labor party the postures what posturing as peace as peacemakers as people who want peace justice yes that's our posture no problem well done the tourists will love you What's the difference if Labour will do exactly what the Tories are doing? What is the difference? Tell us. I mean, I get it. They want to scarper as soon as you say you won't be voting Labour. I thought they were supposed to try and sell their case, though. But clearly the Gaza stance, ceasefires. This is ground these canvassers don't want to get into a discussion on. And I can imagine they're being told up and down the country to avoid this topic like the plague because they have no defence for it. And Labour's stance on it is so out of step with public opinion. And that's shown there by how desperately they're trying to say it's above their pay grade. And they can't talk about it. Well, what rubbish. If you're going to get asked about it on the doorstep, you need a response. And saying you're being harassed is definitely not it. Labour policy is literally what you are there to talk about. You turn up. If you're the sort of canvasser that just asks... Are you voting Labour? Well, right off the bat, then you're a bit shit at it, honestly. It'd elicit a firm and fast, 
No, for me, proper canvassing involves asking people about what matters to them and offering your party solutions to those issues. And I can appreciate the difficulty you might have with that since Keir Starmer stands for absolutely nothing new. Nothing full stop in the most part. Rehashed Tory policy is all of what little we know of. What little he's sticking to at this moment in time before he presumably ditches it in favour of something else at some point. But the question of Gaza is going to come up a lot, especially with little sign of an end to the atrocities being committed by Israel and Keir Starmer and Labour's backing of Israel. And if your response is to cry harassment in the face of that or say it's above my pay grade to comment on it, well, you're going to be losing a lot of support and a lot of votes. The lady putting on the spot is an absolute diamond because she does not let this go. She wants an answer. Well, why shouldn't she? As much as the Labour figures want to talk about getting a Labour MP and Labour councillors elected, what is the point if they are going to continue to support and send arms to Israel just as the Tories are now? She brilliantly puts the canvassers on the spot by saying to them, if that is what happens, do you not bear some responsibility in that by going out and advocating for these people? And this is a genius line of questioning, but it places responsibility on the canvassers to justify their own Labour support. And if they got no answer to that, it just comes across they don't really care. And clearly this group don't because they decided their response would be to take a photograph of her. Oh, we have a difficult person here. Presumably with some intent to report her to somebody. I don't know what crime she's committing exactly. But let's face it. That kind of behaviour is exactly what Labour is known for now under Starmer's leadership. Aggression and threat. Go back to your home. How dare you stand here talking to us in your own street? It's bloody ridiculous. I can remember as a Labour member under Corbyn's leadership, back when it was worth being a Labour member, the brilliant work carried out in training people in how to go out canvassing, how to get over these difficulties, how to get over your own initial nerves about the thought of even doing that, how to have conversations with people, how to deal with difficult questions and diffuse difficult behaviours. People employed specifically by the Labour Party to deliver training, and Starmer scrapped a lot of them. People who got that training have now taken it elsewhere too, to other parties, disgusted by what Labour has become since. Well, you can see the cost of that right here in the quality of canvassing, can't you? Out to canvas. But the minute they're asked questions they don't like, it's harassment. Labour canvassers, frankly, they'd better get used to a lot more difficult questions because it's the position your leadership is putting you in. And if you don't like it or can't answer, then don't go canvassing for them because this is coming to you the country over. And if you're too embarrassed or ashamed or stuck, but the prospect of being questioned over Labour's stance on Israel or Gaza, then perhaps you shouldn't be canvassing for Labour at all. Can you genuinely refute an accusation of being Tory light as that video ended with? Because if not, I'd just say no to canvassing for them full stop. Kudos to that lady for giving a masterclass in dealing with canvassers that offend your sensibilities and putting them on the spot and putting questions to them. It wouldn't hurt us all to think of a few questions to put to them before they crop up on our doorsteps with it. And that goes for any party. It's more fun than just shutting the door in their faces, isn't it? If they feel entitled to waste our time, then let's waste a bit of theirs. After all, Labour, despite ostensibly backing a ceasefire, having hijacked an SNP vote on a proper one, are still suspending elected representatives for backing a ceasefire, which makes as much sense as canvassing for them does right now. Here's a video recommendation detailing just such a story that's come out since that ceasefire vote that Starmer hijacked, and I'll hopefully catch you on the next bit. Cheers, folks.